out. Bro, my hair plugs are about to fall out. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> <gasps> it's great. You guys are gonna get my genuine reaction to a rug that I commissioned this chick to make, okay? <laughs> Yo. Bro, I can't breathe. Wait a damn minute. Okay, parsley, parsley. Ah! Bro, I swear this is just different, bro. Do you see how soft it is? Well, you can't see, but it really is soft. Take my word for it, guys. Tell me, this does not look insane, right? The tote bag, tan, green. This tote bag is gonna be releasing soon, right? I don't think I've said it on this channel, but it's gonna be releasing soon for the summer. It's gonna be releasing with some other merch that's actually going to be coming in tomorrow. So I'm gonna show you guys that too. Bro, I don't know why I keep looking at this rug, bro. I'm about to be bricked up like this. I'm like this, bro. <laughs> Every time I go to a grocery store, I always get the fried chicken wings. Always. Bro, someone's getting into an argument. Today, we are going to be making some spicy vodka fusilli. Is that, is that how you say it? A couple of videos ago, I ordered some John and Vinny's and I said that it was easy to make. So today, I'm going to teach you guys how to make it, okay? And it doesn't really matter if you can cook or not. The most important thing is you know how to fake it. The thing is, like, whenever it comes to cooking, people are always like, Ew, I can't cook. I don't know how to cook. If you can read, you can cook. You just read the recipes. You follow the recipes. I'm confident that you have the ability to make something great. You know what I mean? And I know one of you guys are going to be like, I can't read either. <laughs> See that shit again. First and foremost, we are going to start off by cutting some garlic and some shallots. You're gonna lay it flat, okay? So that it doesn't roll around and you don't cut yourself. And I like to cut my garlic and shallots like just regular onions. So I make it like this, like this, flat, and then just chop, 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 chop. Now the recipe calls for one garlic, but I'm gonna use three. And the reason behind that is because once we have our garlic and shallots cut up, we're gonna start on boiling the water because boiling water takes like fucking 30 days to boil, okay? Turn on high. Let's get started on our sauce. For the sauce, we need a little bit of olive oil. And I'm gonna put in my shallots and garlic even though the pan isn't really hot yet. And then we'll just slowly wait for the pan to heat up. Tomato paste, open it up. Okay, you want it crispy and golden like this, okay? Do not burn the garlic. It's gonna get hella bitter and then you're gonna have to throw it away and start all over, okay? At this point, we're gonna cook the tomato paste so that it can get brown. And the reason for that is, it's just gonna develop a more rich tomato flavor because the water in the tomato paste is gonna evaporate, right? Now, once your tomato paste has darkened in color, we're gonna add in some vodka. It's so funny because I used to work at a bar, right? And people would only drink Tito's because it's like the least calories in alcohol. And back then when I was a server, I used to be like, oh my God, you saw extra? But now that I'm getting older, like I kind of understand it, bro. Like the calories be adding up. A tablespoon. Oh shit, what the fuck? Cream. Oh, red chili flakes. Mix, 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 mix. Notice how I'm almost done with the sauce and look at the water, bro. Yo, this shit not even boiling yet. Okay, the sauce that you should get is like a thick orange sauce like this. And the reason why it looks kind of like thick is because we still need to add the pasta water. So, push this off the heat. Fancy pasta, fusilli, fusilli. Give it a little mix so it doesn't get stuck on the bottom. Back on. Before you take it, get some of that pasta water, okay? So we're gonna, like half a cup. Is there a noodle in there? What the fuck, there's a noodle. A strainer. <laughs> in a little bit of butter. That pasta water. Now, right now, it does not look good at all, okay? But we're gonna mix it. Parmesan cheese, a little bit of grating. We're just gonna keep on winging it. Uh, mm. Hey, I know you hear that, bro. What does it sound like? Comment down below what this sounds like, bro. Sheesh! Wait, I need more cheese. And that's it. Basil. Crushed red peppers. I don't know why it doesn't look that great in camera, bro. Like, it's orange in real life, but on the camera, it looks yellow for some reason. That shit pissed me off. Bruh. 
Come on. Why is it so spicy, bro? God damn. Did I put fucking jalapenos in this or something? <laughs> no, why is it spicy? And I got more dishes to do, bro. Uh, I feel like I complain about dishes every video, but that's the truth, bro. I hate doing dishes. I have a dishwasher right here, but I don't know how to use it. Bro, I'm hella procrastinating on cleaning right now. But do you guys know that one song, like, by Coyla Ray? Bro, that shit has been stuck in my head, bro. Get it out. Fuck everybody. I can't trust nobody. <laughs> don't let me to the party. Pull up to the bitch. Ooh, that's a ooh. Coffee. Bro, why is the screen blown out like my back, bro? We what? We're going to Dinosaur Coffee. Yesterday, I searched up top coffee spots in LA, and this was one of them, so I have high expectations. Looks good, though. Yo, look at this cap. I have never, ever seen a cap like this. Kind of cool, but also kind of weird, and I'm here for it. What did we get? Oh, the iced vanilla latte with almond milk, okay. Just as usual, this is what I get from like Starbucks, and whenever I go to like a coffee shop and like they don't have any specialties, I usually just get this, so. Wow, that's actually really good. Ooh. Okay, this is one of the best coffees that I've had so far in LA. But then again, so far I've only been to like three cafes, so. Anywho, this is the chocolate croissant. Usually I get this warmed up so that it's softer, but it's, this one's kind of cold, so. Bro, literally, I wish I got my vacuum with me, bro. Look at this shit. Oh, this is like eating a Nature Valley bar. Every bite, it's just... It's just crumbs everywhere. I hate it here, bro. Where's my Dyson? Hey, yo, Fanjoy. Did the samples for the new merch come in yet? I thought you never asked. Okay, so I want to give you guys a little bit of backstory of how this next merch drop came to be. First and foremost, there's this guy named Vandy, right? He owns this brand on Instagram called Vandy the Pink. I don't know how I came across his page, but I just really like his stuff. So I hit him up and I was like, Vandy, can you help me design my next merch drop? Like, I really like your taste. He and I hopped on the call. I told him my ideas. He told me his ideas. And fast forward a couple weeks, I'm looking at the finalized samples. Okay, we went through a couple rounds. The Newton parcel. Or wait, the Parsley X Vandy the Pink collaboration. Let me show you guys. The first item that we have is the hoodie, and it also comes in a phone case as well, which is what I've been using for the past like a month or so. But yeah, super fun design. It's like a literal cartoon design of a parsley leaf, purple lilac color flowers, and parsley in yellow. And this is gonna be like a puff print, so you could actually like feel the texture. <laughs> Vandy and I just had this idea to make like a fun hoodie, kind of like cartoon streetwear inspired. And yeah, just a black hoodie that you could throw on. Go get some tacos at night with your friends. I just love the color of this purple and how like it interacts with the green and the pink. Wait, wait, no, no, yellow. Wait, wait. Should I wear it? <laughs> Bro, this is so sick. You match the purple with the purple sweats. Okay. I have been wanting to drop a forest green crew neck for so long. Literally over a year and a half, I think. You know, sometimes you want to wear a hoodie, but it's too hot. So you opt for a crew neck. Favorite design about this is on the right sleeve, it has Vandy's logo on it. So boom. Okay, this doesn't match the pants. Okay, okay. So the last item that we have is just a simple black tee with a left chest piece design. It's a parsley pea. My OG font in a heart. This is like a sage green heart almost or like a forest green and underneath it has let it vibe on the side designed by Vandy. And if you guys didn't know or you're new to the channel, let it vibe on the side was like a catchphrase that I used to say in like all my cooking videos. Um, I don't know, I just thought it'd be cute to just put on there. And my favorite item that is gonna drop is this parsley tote bag. And I did a custom embroidery to it. Okay, yours is not gonna look like this. You gotta do this yourself. To show you guys how big this bag is, this is how it looks like. On me, I'm 7'3", 300 pounds. And this holds so much items, bro. Like you can go to the thrift store, pick up like 30 pieces of clothes and throw it in here, bro. As we were going through samples of like different tote bags and whatnot, the most important thing to me was usability. So we went through these tote bags that's like a, a square and it didn't really fit that much item in there, you know, like it's not practical. So I chose a bigger tote bag. You see this rectangle? This separate bottom part that opens up. I just love this tote bag. It's perfect for spring, perfect for summer. And most importantly, it looks hella good when you take Instagram pictures. Ah, come on. <laughs> the most important thing about, oh nah, I'm gonna blur out my armpit hair, bruh. Hell no. Oh no. 
the thing that I'm most proud of is that a portion of the profits from this merch drop is going to be donated to two different Asian charities. Unless you've been living under a rock, you know that Asian hate crimes have been going up, up, uppity. That has to do with the virus and whatnot. And, you know, it really is sad just like going on social media and seeing my Asian peers hurting and seeing, you know, things on the news of people getting punched in the face, pushed over. And it's, I don't have any words to say, bro. I don't know which Asian charities yet. Like, I haven't really done my research, but I told Vandy that he could choose one. I'll choose one. And then, yeah, we'll go from there. Not only is the Parsley Gang filled with the hottest people that eat the most delicious food, we're now philanthropists. Wait, how do you, wait, how do you say that word? Philanthropists? Yes, sir.